Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 16th through the 22nd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Taurus. <clears throat> the overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Swords. So definitely, I mean, this is a very engaging kind of an energy. It's almost like you want to do something. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you want to do something. We'll see what that is. In the recent past, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, something is working out here. I kind of get the sense that it's related to work. It could be something else. But you do have other energies around you, very supportive, very loving. But it's something is building up in a nice way here uh, for you. In the current situation, the Three of Swords, the King of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, this is a very deep, painful kind of wound attached to someone and you want for things to change around here like there's something about this where you want to change you can't stand this wound anymore maybe you want to heal it maybe you want to address it with whoever this is i don't know i don't know what it is but i feel like that's where your action stands you know like i want to do something about it in the immediate future the seven of cups the two of pentacles the knight of cups yeah, there's several um, choices here, options opening up for you. And you're looking at those and you're like, uh, I, I don't know which one to choose. And I don't. I, I. And then all of a sudden I see your heart opening up and knowing exactly where to go, you know, and what to choose. So it's like as you kind of contemplate there and you're like, uh, should I go there? Should I go? Should I do that? Should I do that? And then all of a sudden you remember, oh, hold on. Let me connect to my heart for a minute. And then pff, you just know. Cool. Let's clarify. Let me do the Ace of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Hermit. you're looking very stable within yourself so when i see that kind of an energy and somebody wanting to take action from that place i'm like yeah do it you're very clear you know what you're about you know what you want here so and you're very stubborn about it too to do something here um but you're coming from a place in which action is a good match you know to your energy right here so whatever you want to do there go ahead and do it you've got a lot of energy supporting that um Let's do the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Fool. I feel like you worked a lot to, to kind of create something balanced here, something nice, potentially long-term balanced for sure. And it, it comes in with a sense of I worked a lot for this, to get to this place, you know, and there's a sense of appreciation uh from you to you you know over this so it's it, like like gratitude you know so it feels really really cool uh whatever this is let's do the two of cups you get the six of cups the knight of cups the four of cups there is a potential soul connection here as you do this there is love there you're recognizing that but you're upset about something when it comes to I'm not even sure if you're upset with something they did or like, the, I feel like the upsetness comes more from you to you, you know, just as much as you appreciate what you've built on, you look at this and you're upset with yourself about something there, but I don't know what you're not telling me. Hmm. Interesting. Cause you are recognizing, okay, this is a soul connection. There's love here. Everything's going great. Mm. And it's like, what is the mm about? You would know, though. 
because you're not showing up confused there at all so you would know i don't know you would know it's like almost like something's missing or something i don't know for the ace of pentacles in the recent past you get the nine of cups the three of swords the seven of swords Something looks to be flowing quite steady, quite nice. Everything's good here. All of a sudden, somebody picks up and leaves. I feel like it's you. But even though the energies look did look steady, did look like they they truly did look nice. But if something was missing for you, I feel like you've gotten to that place of recognizing that and being like, this is not fair. You know, no matter how good the energies look, and even I recognize that something is not doing it for me. So this is not fair for these energies that I'm dealing with here to, to stay here if something's missing for me personally. So I feel like it was more of a frequency kind of rec recognition on your end in terms of, yeah, everything looks good. Everything's great here, but it's not doing it for me, you know? So I got to go where that is to, to search for that. That's missing. You know what I mean? Kind of looks like that. It doesn't look like drama or anything like, oh, you suck. No, you suck more. You're the suckiest of them all. I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't look like that. It's, it's just kind of a organic way of recognizing what works and what doesn't here, you know, and acting upon it. So, okay. Let's do the Three of Swords in the current situation. The Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Temperance card. Yeah, you want to do something here big time. Because it is, it is, it seems like a deeply instilled kind of an old potential wound here attached to a particular situation. And it's been there with you for what seems like forever. Um, and it's, I feel like you're starting to recognize that even though you may have ignored it, it's always been there. In the in the background somewhere you know stressing you out or something and you're you're kind of coming at that place of i need to do something about it now i don't know what exactly um we'll see but you need to do something about it apparently for the king of wands you get the seven of wands the sun the page of wands interesting because you're keeping this energy at bay, this energy that's connected to the pain that you carry here, you're keeping it at bay. But what's interesting about it is that beyond that, you know, that whatever you're putting in between you and them, there's happiness. So it's almost like a recognition that there's happiness beyond that, but I still choose to keep it away or something, you know? which might contribute to that pain over there. Because it's like, if you know that's where happiness is, then why push against it? Um, let's do the Wheel of Fortune in the current situation. Ooh, whoa. The Strength card, the King of Wands, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you want, you want, some, you want for things to change here. You don't want to feel this anymore. You don't want to feel that pain. You don't want to... So again, the pain is definitely being built up by a lot of your resistance to your own happiness here. So I'm not sure what you're planning to do here, but you're planning to do something by the looks of it uh, c because you don't want to feel this anymore like this. So no matter how hard things might be to change the situation around or something... I feel like you're willing to try because this is building up into a, a place of I got to do something about it. You know what I mean? So up until now, you probably ignored it, pushed it to the side. You're like, oh, it's fine. I can barely hear it or, you know, it's, it's okay. And then all of a sudden, it's like, it's kind of unbearable. So I got to do something about it. You know, I guess it's speaking loud. For the Seven of Cups, you get the Lovers, the Ten of Cups, the King of Swords. It's, yeah, there's plenty of options to address this situation, and this is what I feel like you want to do. Um, this is in regards to a particular connection. I'm, again, I'm not sure if you're going to address the person. It's not about that. It's about addressing the energies that are at play for you. And one that's the most important one is pain. So 
there's plenty of ways to go about it. I see your determination to go in those directions, then I see a little bit of, oh, uh, which one do I choose though? Okay, plenty of options, but which one? Um, it's one of those, just go ahead and do it kind of a thing, you know, when it comes through from you as an energy. Like just pick yourself up and do it, whatever it is. None of those options seems seem to be wrong or something. Um, but you do have a little bit of, hold on, let me, let me think about it though, you know? So there's definitely a sense of addressing this on your end and you will somehow. I don't know how you'll figure it out after you kind of stumble a little bit here. For the two of pentacles, you get the 10 of swords, the nine of wands, the eight of cups. Yeah, you're scared, you're scared. So it's not about the options here. It's not about, oh, I don't know what option. It's because you're scared to address this because up until this point i saw a lot of determination and a lot of i'm gonna do this god damn it you know kind of an energy and then all of a sudden i see fear and there you show up being like oh i don't know what to do i don't know which one option is best for and that's why you don't know because there's fear of failure you know which energetically speaking again any option out of the approach for this is good you know because it, it all comes down to you'll just go ahead and do something you know but when fear shows up then the energies change completely it's like um mm, uh, i don't know let me think about it i'll see you know um i don't feel like you'll stay in this fear for long though because the energy of determination is too strong so the energy of the drive that you want to approach the situation is definitely strong um for the Knight of Cups, you get the Emperor, the King of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. Yeah, all you need to do is come back to alignment with yourself, with your heart, with all of these energies at play for you, and you should be good to go here. Whatever it is that you're doing, it's one of those really strong messages of just go ahead and do it, because fear is always going to be in the way. So it's like, you know, whatever you feel in the moment of, oh, this is what I'm going to do, by all means. It feels aligned. Otherwise, I wouldn't tell you to do it. If I would see you all over the map here, I would be like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's think about it, you know. Um, but everything is aligned with you knowing exactly what to do as long as you feel it and go for it right away, not allowing yourself time to think because allowing yourself that time will bring fear in and it's going to keep you in this position for a little bit. And I see you getting completely lost in there if you allow that. But then you come out, so it's up to you, ultimately. But yeah, really, uh, really interesting. But let's see what the universe has. The Queen of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, from the practical way of looking at things, you are giving me the sense of, well, I got to take a lot of things into consideration, you know especially when it comes to my stability and how I can incorporate all of this into that, you know, smoothly. Uh, and I get it. And still, the energy is in the middle of the... I, I understand where you're coming from with this statement here of I got to take a lot of things into uh, consideration. But what I see attached to that is the Eight of Swords energy, which is showing up right here in the... Um, mm, I'm scared. So there's fear in there too, somehow. Keep it practical. Do try to incorporate this somehow, but at the same time, let it incorporate itself in an organic way. Because as long as you're gonna go through being in alignment with yourself here, everything is gonna fall into place. You just gotta trust that. It's not up to you to incorporate, to put you know, one energy from one shelf to another. It's, it's gonna place itself there because it belongs there, you know? So, pretty cool reading, but that's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.